Hello, my name is David Brumley. I'm a professor at Carnegie Mellon University. In this video, I'm going to describe some of the common security goals in cryptography. In particular, I'll describe secrecy, integrity, authenticity, and non-repudiation. So at a high level, the goal of cryptography when securing communication is to provide this idea of a Kryptonium pipe. Alice and Bob are going to share messages on a public forum, and this Kryptonium pipe protects those messages against enemies and adversaries. And we typically, in cryptography, call these people Eve. Now, these adversaries are very, very smart people. They're going to try any number of tricks to try to thwart this communication. So what are some of the security goals of cryptography? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is this notion of secrecy. And what secrecy means is, if we encrypt the message to create some ciphertext and we pass this ciphertext on the public forum, and it so happens that Eve intercepts this ciphertext, that she can't determine anything about the original message. So let me give you an example. Suppose Eve can determine if the last letter of Bob's reply is S but nothing else. Is the system secure? And typically we would say, no, it's insecure because it provides insufficient secrecy. Alice here has asked a question, I like you, do you like me? And so it's natural to assume that Bob is either going to reply yes or no. Now, Bob's going to encrypt this. Let's say he encrypts yes, is C. And when we give C to Eve, she can determine if it's an S or not. And so clearly if it's an S, she can determine whether his answer is yes or no. So given this single bit of information, all secrecy is lost. A second security goal would be to provide integrity. What integrity means is that it shouldn't be the case that um, Alice can use her crypto system and send the message over this pipe, but then Eve can intercept it and send a different message so that, um, well, for example, uh, Allison's I like you, do you like me? And she's changed it to be something like I hate you, do you like me? That would be a problem with integrity. And uh, just to give you kind of a, a heads up, one way that we provide integrity is what, with what we call a message authenticity code or a MAC for short. That's one way. Another way is during decryption, if we, for example, if we encrypt these, when we get back the ciphertext C prime and Bob decrypts it, he either gets back the message M or he gets back some error message, which I've just kind of indicated here with this funny symbol here. It's called bottom. So let's give an example of this. So we don't want it to be the case that when Bob sends back his reply, Remember, it's going to be either yes or no. And let's just assume that he sends yes back, that Eve can intercept this and change it to be no. That would be terrible. So this comes up in things like e-voting. For example, suppose we want to enable e-voting in a particular district, and it just so happens that in this district, 70% of the population, according to polls, is going to uh, vote blue and 30% is going to vote red. Well, we could provide basic encryption and this could provide some sense of secrecy, secrecy which would hide the votes. So um, what secrecy means is, you know, Eve cannot determine whether or not this particular candidate, this particular, I'm sorry, person, given C, voted for red or blue. However, secrecy isn't enough because what Eve could do is she could look at all these C's and she could just flip them. Remember, it's either going to be red or blue. So if she flips it, if they voted blue, they'll have voted for red after she flips it and vice versa. And so what this ends up doing is it ends up flipping the election. Eve was never able to determine what this person voted for, but she knows on average by flipping these votes, she's flipped the outcome of the election. And so that's why this is a good example of why integrity and secrecy are two different things. A third security property is a notion of authenticity. 
We want it to be the case that when Alice sends a message through this Kryptonium pipe and Bob gets it out, that Bob can authenticate and determine this message came from Alice. For example, we don't want it to be the case that Eve can inject a message that says, I love you, Alice, into this, pot, into this uh, pipe um, and forge it as though it came from Alice without Bob detecting it. And so there's things like digital signatures, which can be used for authenticity. And finally, the fourth one I want to talk about in this video is non-repudiation. And this is a kind of an interesting word. So the word repudiate means to deny the truth or validity of something. And so I think non-repudiation is best described with an example. Suppose Alice sends a message to Bob that says, let's cheat. Right, and so this message was protected by this Kryptonian pipe. And by the way, notice there's no Eve here. But it's been protected by this Kryptonian pipe. So no one's been able to see this message. Bob can verify this message was sent by Alice. And we know this message hasn't been modified because we've had these other three properties. What non-repudiation means is that what Bob sh should be able to do is take this message to a teacher and be able to prove that it was sent by Alice. Now this is different than authenticity. Authenticity is about whether Bob can tell it's from Alice, which is different than determining whether or not Bob can prove that the message was sent to a teacher. So in summary, there's really these four common security goals, and this is by no means an extensive list. That's why I have this dot, dot, dot here. There's confidentiality, and uh, I called this secrecy earlier. There's integrity, authenticity, and non-repudiation. Now, a crypto system may have one of these, or it may have all four, or it may actually have some of the other ones. But these are sort of the common things that you would think of. And when you're using cryptography, these are the sort of goals that you expect them to provide. Till next time, never stop hacking.